Hello, my lovely Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your December 2019 reading. Last reading of the year, isn't that crazy? So, my name's Trudy, and I'm your Portu Gypsy Angel Medium, formerly known as Beacons of Angel Light. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're returning, welcome, and thank you so much for showing up again. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy. I hope it resonates. If it does, definitely leave me a comment, even if it's just an emoji. That way it notifies all the other YouTubers that this is definitely worth watching, right? So for today, we're going to be using the Gilded Tarot because I am infatuated with this deck since I got it. The Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. And I'm going to be pulling some Archangel Michael cards, the blue Angel Oracle cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, this deck specifically was a gift. Anyways, um, so... I say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and that does mean that you can go and check out everything else that's in your chart, and, um, you know, you do that by Google searching your natal chart, and they're free, the calculators, natal chart calculators, and the uh, Moon, for instance, will give you the emotional aspect, the Jupiter will give you the financial aspect, you know, like if you look into it. It's very interesting, and so um, these are general readings, so if you find that something doesn't apply, please let, let that energy jump, gently be for somebody else who really needs to hear it. Um, but the things that do apply to you, hold on to that, my lovey dovey. Also, if you want a personal exchange of energies with me, I am always open to that. So click on the uh, description box right around there. Um, and follow the instructions. Check out my website. I just put out a brand new website. It's I L Y L Y S dot com. I love you, love yourself dot com. Abbreviated. I know love yourself, yourself isn't two words, whatever. Anyway, that's the website, I L Y L Y S dot com. So go check it out. I have even a free meditation up there. So, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I shuffle one more time. He said, just do it. Just do it. And like this. Oh, we have a jumping card. We have two jumping cards. These are the main energies for you here in the month of December, Scorpio. We got three of wands. So you are waiting for your ships to come in. You are waiting for those ships to come in, but you see it right there in the horizon. So it's a very exciting time, December. And it's like you're looking to the heavens for something more. It's you're very dissatisfied right now. You want more. You're asking the heavens for more. You're waiting for those ships to come in. Like, you're seriously waiting. So those are the two most dominant energies. Let's see what else we have. So... You're going through a breakup or, you know, a heartache of some sort that's keeping you up at night. Ultimately, you've become quite the night owl um, and you're having your most active thoughts at nighttime instead of during the daytime. In the daytime, you're very dormant. In the daytime, you're more like a child, actually. A very passionate child, very driven child, but, you know, lost and aimless. Um, and at night is when you're having your best thoughts. At night, you can't sleep. At night, your thoughts are keeping you up. And it's due to that breakup. Because in this picture, she is holding her chest. She's quite the night owl there, if you see if it focuses. And she has her arms crossed in front of her chest. She is, she is in heartache. She's in heartache. So let's see what are some things that are working to your advantage here in December. So you're coming in fiery and hot. You may have like, you know, a rendezvous, a sexual healing, sexual healing, because you need 
it because it's good for you. Um, and and you know, it's it's not just about sex. It's actually quite romantic. <laughs> but it's like you didn't want to go there because you you kind of wanted to avoid this situation whatever the situation is whether it's like taking the relationship to another level or or something there's a crossroad here that you didn't a juncture that you didn't want to get to and hmm, da, 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 here we are <laughs> So um, that's actually what's working to your advantage, that you are put into a situation, Scorpio, where you have to make a decision. Now, if you don't make a decision, the decision will be made for you, and I assure you, when a decision is made for you, you don't like it. I just know that from experience, and I know you know that from experience, too. So um, let's pull some cards here from the underside for the outcome. So I'm pulling from the bottom, and we're starting off with justice. More decisions. Two of wands. You just can't make this up. And the eight of wands. And I just wanted to go one more because this is awesome here. You got the Empress. So you're like stepping into your intuition. You are really reaching deep. And, you know, you definitely have to make this decision, but it's also based on justice. So this is some sort of karma unfolding here with your decision making. Okay, because this is a time where... It's a pivotal time where things are going to change depending which road you choose to take. There's, you know, there's the left or the route, the left or the right route. Bleh. <laughs> and, and so justice will prevail and you are going to rely heavily on your intuition. You know what to do. Y'all already know. You already know, Scorpio. Scorpio, yo, yo. Um, so we got here the Eight of Wands, and this is you sending your intentions, your wishes, um, out to the universe, you know, and this is getting goals completed one at a time, one step at a time. So let's pull you an Archangel Michael card. Such a beautiful reading. I'm so excited for you, Scorpio. I just had to put a reading out there. It's my daughter's birthday today, and I haven't done a reading in forever. Psh, psh, psh. My mom's in town. I'm like, time is really scarce. So if you do want a personal reading, keep in mind the turnover time is 24 to 72 hours. Um, here we have multidimensional healing, love, and prayer. The card number is five, and I'm going to read this directly from the book because Tony Carmine Salerno was actually channeling for Archangel Michael uh, when he made these cards. So I want to give it to you exactly the way that Tony Carmine Salerno gives it to us because it's actually Archangel Michael. Are you willing to let go of all of the fear and worry that serves no useful purpose in your life? If so, healing is available to you right now through the grace of love, love, the past, present, and future can all be healed. Invite healing into your life through prayer. Talk to the angels and ask for their help. There is a sacred flame within you that can be activated by your command. Activate it now. The angels will help you if you believe and trust. This very moment, you are being filled with healing light. Accept and do not doubt. If tears flow, then let them. For this is part of the healing process too. That which is most precious is inside you. If you accept the healing, type yes in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Definitely, if the message resonates and you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Click the subscribe button. So I love you. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Love me back. And go check out the website. It's ilylis.com. Mwah.